You know, it's a funny thing when you're single and you live in a small state in a small town. People tend to get in your business. I was at the bank Ooh. recently and this acquaintance came up to me in line, someone I don't really know, and started asking me, how come you're single? Are you dating? Would you ever get married again? I mean, I was like, do I have a no boundary sticker on my forehead? Um, he was probably interested for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, here go these girls with the boundaries. They're so fragile. You notice how about modern women? They're, they're just so delicate, aren't they? Uh, you can't ask them questions. You can't, you know, show any dissent whatsoever. You have to provide uh, essentially an echo chamber for them and just mimic and parrot their same ideas and retarded thought processes otherwise they're like hey you're crossing my boundaries oh yeah yeah i didn't invite you into my safe space they're they're so fragile as much as they proclaim to be all strong and oh i'm coughing in myself and oh, i'm empowered uh they're really just sensitive oversensitive delicate crybabies and then a couple days later i was at a social gathering kind of the same thing why aren't you dating? What are you looking for? And what do you bring to the table? Yeah, that's a fair question, right? That's a fair question. By the way, for, for guys, if somebody asks you why you're single, right? You probably have that, right? If you're single, like, hey, man, why are you single? You take it as a compliment, right? You take it as something positive. Like, I don't know, just haven't found the right one. Or, or if anything, you're just kind of... Uh, entertained by the fact that somebody is interested in wanting to know why you're still single, right? You like that. But for these women, uh, no, no, you know, do, do I have a sign on my forehead that you say you can cross my boundaries? Man, they're such bitches. Like, get over yourself, right? Get over yourself, right? People are humans. They're just curious. If they're an acquaintance, hey, they might ask questions like that because they are genuinely curious about you. You should be thankful for the fact that, hey, somebody cares. Right? Because they could just ignore you. Most guys are just used to being ignored. That one kind of surprised me a little bit. I wanted to say I am the table, but I'm not like that. Of course. Listen, people. I know plenty of people who are coupled up, married, that are not happy. Us single folks, just because we're not coupled up, it doesn't mean that we're necessarily unhappy. Um, yeah, you're so happy that you're spending your days doing these TikToks complaining about people saying you're not happy, right? And I can't stand it when these chicks go to like the marriage thing. You know, it's all these damaged women. They're always like, you know, the, the married, you know, they're married people. They're just unhappy as much as single people are unhappy. Well, speak for yourself. I, I, I don't like it when they project like that. It's like, just because you're unhappy doesn't mean other married women be Married people are unhappy, right? My parents are perfectly happy. You know, obviously no relationship is perfect, but uh, they've been married 50 years, they're happy. Many of my friends, their parents are still married, still happy. Uh, so maybe it's just you, right? Maybe it's just you and you should stop projecting to make yourself feel better because that is very cowardly, right? That is very weak and cowardly. Yeah, thanks for listening. See me a trip to the therapist. Oh. <laughs> There's the magic T word, guys. Therapist. This, this woman has a therapist. Of course she does. And you know who put implanted these ideas in her head about, don't let anyone cross your boundaries. Don't let anyone cross your boundaries. Guess who? The, the same person that is swiping her credit card and being like, okay, I just swiped another $275. I'll tell you exactly what you want to hear, girl, for the next half hour. Of course. Anyway, on to the next. A few moments later. <laughs> Visibility. There's a phenomenon that happens to women over 50, and maybe a little sooner for others. You can start to feel invisible, almost uh, devalued. Ageism for women, although it's gotten better. Okay, so now she's worried about her visibility, right? Now she's... She's worried because she's invisible to people being over 50. I thought she was just harping on and banging on about the fact that it doesn't mean I'm unhappy. Married people are unhappy just like single people. I'm not unhappy. So uh, why are you sitting in your car doing these videos that uh, 
Obviously, you're not getting monetized for. Ageism for women, although it's gotten better, is still a real thing. Ageism? Are you kidding me? So you're over 50, guys don't want to pay attention to you, you can't, you can't lock down chat anymore, and this is about ageism? Uh, you notice, fellas, that these women in their 20s, they were never complaining about this in their 20s, right? It's not until they hit their 50s they start bitching about the fact that it's ageism. Oh, everything's sexist. Oh, the, the Hollywood industry is so misogynistic and patriarchal. How come they weren't complaining when they were in power in their 20s? Just like the women who are in their, their 20s right now, do you hear them complaining about visibility or uh, ageism? No. They, these women in their 20s right now, that's the last thing on their mind, right? Because they are in full power as we speak. But if they stay single, if they don't get married, if they don't uh, get fulfilled, guess what? They'll be here 50 years old on their TikTok and uh, talking about how, you know, I'm not, I'm invisible to people now. I, Chad, and Tyrone, and Pookie, they, they don't notice me like they used to. So there's ageism and we need to fix it. We need to bond together as women and fix this. We don't value our elders in the United States like they do in some other countries. Like yeah, we do. Uh, they're called grandmothers. All right, we revere grandmothers. When you see a little uh, old grandmother walking across the street with like grandkids or something, you look at that woman and you, you know, it just, it's heartwarming, right? But when you see somebody who's the same age out there dressing uh, with, you know, uh, dressing with clothes that she bought from Forever 21 and talking about how she's getting on a dating app, uh, you're disgusted. I am. I do think women over 50 want to be visible still. Uh, it doesn't matter what you want, honey, <laughs> right? Hey, there are people out there that want, uh, homeless people who want a mansion, right? Doesn't mean that they're gonna get it. Things may have changed on the outside, a few more gray hairs and lines, etc. But we still have a lot of wisdom and value to offer this world. Wisdom and value? Um, that is not what people look to women for. You know, and uh, that is just biological. Most people look to women for their youth and for their fertility. They don't look to them for their wisdom and knowledge and sexual experience in the bed. No, 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 no. So, hate to bring it to you. Um, the youth and fertility is gone. So notice she's just avoiding that topic completely. So that's what I meant by invisibility. Uh, whatever you say, lady. Okay. Many months later. <laughs> One thing I learned on TikTok is hurt people hurt people. This right here. What did he say? Uh, okay, some dude wrote into her. He said, karma is getting you back for dumping your husband who was a good man. <laughs> okay, that's not really that mean, right? He's just saying karma is paying you back because you divorced your husband who she claimed was a good man, right? You divorced a good man. And you know what? The universe is rewarding you with no more good men because you had one and you let him go. Right? You had a good guy and you let him go. It's like you coming from a really good job where they treated you well, gave you benefits, it, you know, paid for your housing, your phone, full expense package, gave you a company car, free house, like corporate housing six-figure salary, great boss, and then you leaving that job because you're unfulfilled. Oh, there's something missing. And then going to the next job and then them interviewing you and going, hey, why'd you leave your last job if it was so great? Well, they gave me everything, but I don't know. I just was still unhappy. That interviewer is going to be like, well, we can't make you happy either. So uh, why don't you go hit the road? So this guy is saying, this is what I mean, okay, so all this dude did was write in and he said, karma is getting you for dumping your husband who was a good man. And because these women are not as confident as they proclaim they are, right, but instead insecure uh, and they're fragile and you have to handle them with kitten gloves, otherwise they'll flip out if you give them any hint of truth, guess what? Instead of going, hey, you know what? This Maybe you have a little bit of a point, but here's what you're missing in my, about what I said. Blah, blah, blah. And, and just try to enter some kind of debate. Um, she 
just removes herself of any accountability whatsoever and goes, hey, look at this, guys. Hurt people hurt people, okay? This person is hurt, now they're trying to hurt me. The guy's not trying to hurt you, he's just trying to be honest with you, right? When, when a man is trying to be honest with you, it's not, you know, and be truthful with you, lady, uh, it's not because he's mansplaining and it's not because he's trying to hurt you. Maybe sometimes it is, right? But for the most part, he's trying to help you. And instead of you receiving that and going, okay, yeah, I, I can see why you would think that, right? And then entering into some debate, at least maybe you could even defend yourself and go, well, this, there's more to it, right? Instead of doing that, she goes right to shutting down the conversation, just like somebody who you're trying to debate with. And then they go, racist, racist, no, racist. You know, they just, that's how they shut down the debate. Fascist, fascist, Trump supporter. You know, she's doing the same thing with, oh, hurt people hurt people. Really? You, you're you projecting, because clearly you're hurt. It's what I would call a scarlet letter comment. And I want to address it because I think there's an important message. If you're going through or... A scarlet letter comment? That is not a scarlet letter comment. It's just... It's... <laughs> He's just being honest with you. I know for the vast majority of you, it was probably one of the hardest decisions, if not the hardest decisions in your life. And it was also a decision you didn't make lightly. You might hear comments like that. Don't ever let anybody shame you for taking care of your health. He He's not shaming you. You for taking care of your health, your happiness, and your well-being. See, uh, as I always tell you with these uh, divorced modern women, when they divorce their husbands, even in her case, which is the case for many of these women we feature on my channel, they're, they divorced a good man. It's not like they divorced some like drug addict, abuser, freaking cheater. No, they divorced a good guy who was working hard, coming home, right? Taking, taking good care of her, making sure that she was taken care of and doing the best that he could still wasn't enough. And these women leave because why? It's not about the my husband. It's not about the kids. It's not about the family dog. It's not about the family period. It's about me. 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 It's about me. I need my happiness, my fulfillment. I need, I need this for myself. It's always me, me, me. And she just said it here, right? She just said it here. Ah, and my happiness, my fulfillment. Don't let anybody ever shame you. Um, nobody can shame you. Right? Nobody can make you feel shame unless you're already feeling that. <laughs> unless you're already feeling it. Your health, your happiness, and your well-being. Remember that. One thing yeah, the, the last thing you should do is take advice from a divorced woman who left a good man after how many decades she was married to this guy. The kids, the family dog, just walked away from all of it to go do me i have to do me me and uh really she's such a bonehead she can't see that uh oh i better not call her a bonehead right because hurt people hurt people <laughs> so uh yeah as, as fragile as she is everybody be careful man don't offend this girl you know obviously she can't take any criticism whatsoever just like most modern women they can't handle any criticism whatsoever but yet they're strong and empowered right and confident uh sure Sure thing. I've always told you guys, if you just cover your ears and don't listen to a word that a modern woman says and just watch her actions, yeah, you'll be blown away at how much you pick up, right? You'll just be blown away. The truth will come out. It's how I often tell people, even though I'm not political, I'm like, if you just look, cover your ears, don't listen to what these politicians say or what the party says um, or even the president, right? You just cover your ears, don't don't listen, just watch what they do. You'll you'll quickly realize who is good and who's evil, right? And this is why I'm an independent. I'm like, I mean, but these days, I mean, yeah, the left is just full on evil. <laughs> the right is a little bit too, but not yeah. They don't have it. I mean, the left they're they're light years ahead. Regardless, same thing with modern women. So yeah, be careful about this girl, man. This older woman. She just obviously can't take any criticism or engage in any conversation unless you are kissing her ass. Right? That's what it sounds like to me. You can't tell her anything that she's wrong. She left a good man. You shouldn't have divorced her. You can't tell her any of these things because she'll just shame you and tell you like, oh, you're hurt. 
You're hurt. You shouldn't say these things to people. Well, you're the one who's putting it out in the public for everyone to comment on. But uh, obviously, uh, if the comments are not, uh, you know, kissing your ass, you uh, probably will not like it. Right? So, in any case, as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you would like to share, please feel free to drop your comments below. Always love to see you guys in my comments. Always love to read them. So, please drop your comments below. As always, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell for me as well. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm teaching you here, best way to support me is just jump into 7 Months of Mastery. Right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me, so take advantage of it. Click the link below in the description box, and it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds, and I will see you there. I'm out. Bye, all you hurt people. <laughs>